I think right now we've created a chilling environment. And you know, my view is it's a combination of the fact that we have a completely unsustainable fiscal uh, policy right now. You cannot, the United States of America cannot continue running trillion dollar plus deficits indefinitely. That is completely unsustainable. And we have not demonstrated the political will to fix it. And so everyone rationally worries that we're in store for either a massive tax increase or serious inflation if we continue to monetize it, or some combination. Well, that in and of itself has a chilling effect on economic growth and investment. You combine that with a, a regulatory environment that I would argue has become very problematic. Um, healthcare bill raises the cost of hiring a worker. I think that's an objective fact. Uh, there is, uh, I think Dodd-Frank is dramatically increasing the costs of banks providing capital. Um, I think other regulatory agencies, including the EPA, for instance, have adopted a very aggressive tone. And I hear this every day from people who are dealing. I'm not making this up. So I think the combination is having a chilling effect. And so if we get that right, if we have sensible regulatory environment that is not perceived as hostile, but rather cooperative in achieving the goals that they're supposed to achieve, if we demonstrate that we can get on a sustainable path, and we have the pro-growth tax reform that that for which there's broad bipartisan support. I think that'd be enormously encouraging to, to our entire economy. And that's, that's why I say I think it would trigger a huge wave of new investment and business creation and corresponding job creation. And then you get consumer spending and it all takes off. But right now, I think we are the reason, we Washington are the reason that, um, that we're lagging behind.